Uh, hello viewers uh, today we're going to see how to download and install a rabbit mq so uh, this is the session uh, i going to start with uh, a rabbit uh, mq tutorial so this session to see how to install the rabbit mq so here uh, i using a windows machine so i pick up the windows installation but here you have a variety of options uh, to um, get into uh, rabbit uh, MQ. So here um, you have um, different uh, OS supports like Next, BSD, Nux, uh, Windows, Mac OS all. So here and uh, we have the different uh, versions and we will get the support for the dockers and will it's available on the ZDub as well and you will get a few repositories and cloud server supports and profession tool like Chef uh, Puppets and it has the release assigning key if record you can pick it from here and uh, you can uh, download from a bin tray okay and you can find the older version as well here and this is the client library for the java clients uh, java clients and dot net clients all the clients. so here i am uh, going to do with the c sharp tutorial so uh, first i try to uh, download and install my server then mm, in the project mm, i will show you how to set up the uh, client and how to uh, get benefit from the rabbitmq let's go on set up now the rabbitmq server so directly i will go on the download uh, the zip uh, installer so it's around uh, 11 mb so it will take some few seconds based on your internet So meanwhile uh, we can understand what else uh, we have the options so uh, uh, in this uh, page mm, you will get the change logs uh, where you can get the details of the release notes and also you will get uh, rabbit mq support timeline to find out the release series are supported which series is support for what okay and this is the command for the docker workstations okay so this is you see the change logs so latest uh, when I do this tutorial it was it is a uh, 3.724 uh, uh, okay I'm uh, it's got a downloader for me let's start installing this okay so enlarge could not be directed you must install Garen log before installing rabbit could you like install to open the browser window to enlock yes please okay so it's asking me to something yeah let's go through the complete uh, version so what's uh, what we need to do to get it from here Second service release for the second magic. Okay, I actually, uh, I have a Windows 64, so let's try this. Okay, it's around uh, 90 ME, it will take time to uh, download. okay so this is what the dependency they provided so revit mk record 64 bit supports version of uh, year long uh, windows okay that's what we are trying to installing uh, so it's downloading okay uh, for the windows install so uh, release for the windows installer and the solution provides the binary 64 bit build so that's what's uh, here which i picked up okay and what's the another important point is Airlong installer must be run as the administrator account otherwise registration key accepted by the rabbit mq install will not be present so you should uh, install from the administrator account and once supported version of Airlong is installed download the installer so al already we downloaded this installer and yes using the default configuration so no need to worry about this it will start the windows service and it will 
mm, start using the default configuration so let's uh, wait for the download to complete okay my download is completed let's try to run this application I am doing the default installation okay I hope it's installed successfully so let's try uh, now rabbit mk server okay it's now it's asking to install So uh, actually it is asking to allow us from the firewall, just uh, give it yes. Okay, it asks for Erlang to give the same permissions, let's give this, okay, it's fine, all fine, so give next. So click finish uh, uh, to close the wizard. So rabbit server is installed successfully in your computer. So now all uh, fine. Okay, so no more setups. Okay, so this is all the custom. Okay. You can start, you can start start uh, service from the service menu. So you can want to start, uh, uh, stop, uh, uh, reinstall all you can do by uh, Windows service, service menu you can start okay you if you have existing installation plan to upgrade okay you must uninstall the broker uh, before upgrading the vm so so whenever uh, you want to upgrade to the erlong so you must stop uh, the installer will not okay so you just uh, uninstall uh, then you should upgrade that's what they are saying okay and manage the service uh, links to the rabbit um, directory can be found in the start menu so yeah you, you will get it uh, directory from the start menu not an issue so there are also the command prompt um, where uh, you can uh, do some uh, kind of works okay to stop the broker or check its status so um, you can use such a commands okay let's start uh, checking the status let's uh, just do that Okay, oops, uh, it asking to not uh, exist. Okay, let's see, following the command prompts, most basically a uh, node a uh, health check and display some information about the node. Okay, okay see the arrived MQ tool guide. Okay, let's find out the tool guides. okay or uh, let's uh, go and search the rabbit mk okay so here we have the a list of uh, stuffs like uh, to start the service so let's just do start service okay okay yeah the record service has already been started okay so our service is available now uh, let's go and uh, search for something else rabbit 
okay yeah see this is the command prompt uh, which is uh, for the rabbit okay so you just uh, open from the service has been so now uh, you apply the status okay just run it okay so now our service is running it's giving us the guide what's the disk space and uh, full of free, free disk space free gbs yes so uh it's uh, giving the complete uh, calculations of uh, the memory and it's give us the plugin enabled plugins details and the data and configurations files and okay let's go from the starting the status of the node okay one run time so it's uh, telling us what's the version and what's the uptime what's the OS, what's the PID and the airline configuration schedule run queue and cluster heartbeat time tab so this is the status of your current uh, rabbit MQ so hopes uh, it's downloaded and successfully installed so let's see uh, in a deep how to use the rabbit MQ how to set up the clients in the project now we're going to see in this uh, tutorial thanks for watching the video guys just to do install the setup ready we'll come back with the next session